Hi everyone. We are going to use our puppets, Aaron and Eric. Remember I showed them to you before? This is Eric and this is Aaron. And we're gonna pretend that we were in our classroom today, even though we're at my house. Okay, I hear some children laughing. I think it's an Aaron and Eric. Let's see what they're doing. Ha, you missed me, you missed me. That was fun. Let's do it again. Oh. Oops, the teacher said to clean up and we were playing. You started playing instead of cleaning up. I have an idea. Can you guys sit next to me? They're sitting next to me. Um, it looks like Aaron and Eric didn't keep their attention on cleaning up. They forgot to use their attentoscopes. Do you remember we talked about that last time? Let's practice. Can you put yours on? Excellent job, grown ups. put yours on too. When you've got them on and you've got your attention focused on me, then you can put them down. Nice work. Okay, let's point to the parts of our bodies that we use when we focus our attention. Do you remember last time we talked about we use our eyes to focus our attention? We use our brains to focus our attention and we use our ears to focus our attention while we're listening. And I have another way that helps me stay focused on what I have to do. I quietly tell myself in my brain, I tell myself in my brain over and over what I have to do. And that is called self-talk. Boys and girls, do you remember that? It, we probably talked about that. You learned this lesson a long time ago at the first part of the year. But I bet your teachers remind you to, they may say something like, tell yourself in your brain, what are the directions? Or are you using your self-talk to remember the directions? We're going to practice that today um, so that we can become better listeners. We can we can be better listeners and, and help us practice follow some directions. Let me get my puppets back on, my friends back on. Okay, Aaron and Eric. There they are. Why do I need to use self-talk to keep and, and keep telling myself what to do? Because it helps you, it helps you keep doing what you have to do. Wow, if we had used self-talk, we could have kept our attention on cleaning up rather than forgetting and keeping playing. That's right. Self-talk helps keep your attention on the things you need to do. You guys were excellent helpers today. Okay, boys and girls at home, we're gonna practice with one of our cards, okay? Can you remember that self-talk about say, telling yourself in your brain quietly what the over and over what you need to do? Okay, let's see who we have today. Oh, we have Tony and Olivia. Oh, what are they doing? Let's see. Oh, they're playing with blocks, it looks like. Here are Olivia and Tony, and they're building tall towers with blocks. As they are building, they hear the teacher say, everyone, focus your attention. It's almost group time. Time to start cleaning up. And the teacher plays the special cleanup music. You guys have that in your classrooms, don't you? A lot of your classrooms have special cleanup songs. Olivia begins to sing a little song to herself. Pick up the blocks and put them in the box. When that's done, go to group time. She and Tony put blocks, put blocks into the box. Tony can barely hear Olivia's song. What are you singing? asked Tony. Olivia sings her song for Tony. Pick up the blocks and put them in the box. When that's done, go to group time. It helps me remember what to do, she says. Olivia sings her song until all the blocks are back in the in this basket, in the box there, and then she puts them on the shelf. Olivia starts to sing, and when that's done, but Tony finishes, go to group time, and they do. So tell me, what did Olivia do to help keep herself focused so she would remember to clean up her toys, remember the directions? Do you guys remember? What was that that we just talked about? Self-talk, she used a fun little song that helped that she kept saying into in her quietly to herself over and over that reminded her the steps, the directions she was supposed to follow. It, um, and if you sometimes use self-talk to focus your attention, touch your nose, I do it all the time. Um, there are times, even grown-ups can use this. There are times that I have so many things to remember to do that I have to kind of tell myself in my brain quietly the steps to do them. So let's see if we can remember. What were the steps that Olivia was singing to herself about so that she could clean up? She was talking about put the blocks in the bucket, 
And then it's when that's done, it's group time. It's It can be hard to remember if you have two things to do, like the first thing is to put the blocks in the bucket. And then the second thing is to put, is to go to group time. It can be tough to remember both of those things without getting distracted. So she put on her attentoscope when her teacher was telling her it was time to clean up and then come to group time. And then she used her self-talk. She told herself quietly in her brain or even maybe just very quietly over and over the steps to put the blocks in the, in the basket put them on the shelf, and then it was time to go to group time. That way she didn't get distracted by maybe um, what somebody was doing in the house area. She remembered to go to group time afterwards. You guys were such good helpers with that. Can we tell Aaron and Eric thank you for their help today? Next time we come together, um, we are going to talk a little bit more about following directions. So we'll use all the tools we've been talking about. We'll, we'll use our listening skills. Eyes watching, ears listening, voice is quiet, body calm. We'll use our attentoscopes and we'll use our self-talk, telling ourselves in our brain or very quietly the steps that we need to do. So the next time we see each other, we're going to practice following directions. See you soon.